Hi there, John Frank here with uh, Walter the Cat in your, mm, in your Friday afternoon public service announcement. All right, Walter, you can go. There you go, sweet cat. Uh, so today, today, happy Friday. Uh, today, today, it's all about the old fashioned, continuing in the, uh, in the tradition of, of um, classic cocktails. Um, We'll be taking it to uh, slightly warmer climes in weeks to come. But uh, today is all about the old fashioned. Old fashioned is a classic uh, cocktail, even by definition, right? Which is a, uh, which is a spirit with um, a spirit with uh, uh, sugar, uh, bitters, and a touch of water. And probably should have grabbed that uh, that uh, soda water. <laughs> Um, but you don't don't necessarily need need that uh, that that soda water. Just a, just a few dashes of bitters to soak into this into this fabulous uh, fabulous sugar cube. Um, this is really come come back to the mainstream with the with Mad Men um, over the last over the last five years. Um, that that. Uh, that series did a, a fabulous job in reviving this this cocktail. Um, had probably only made a handful of these in all my time bartending and waiting tables. So that's oof, 17 years, maybe three, four. But <clears throat> but since then, there's been this, this wonderful revival. So you, you soak the uh, soak the, the 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 cube with uh, the sugar cube with two, maybe three dashes of. Angostura bitters. If it's if it's not crushable, right, and not making a paste, you might want to just open that up with just a squidge, just a hint of uh, of soda water. Uh, that that'll help break down that sugar. But the idea is to make a little paste in the bottom with the sugar and the bitters, and then use a spirit of your choice. Typically, it's bourbon or rye. But you know, I've also made really nice cocktails like this old fashions with um, with Irish whiskey as well. So we're using Canadian Club, 100% uh, rye, rye whiskey here. And then it's two ounces of that. Right to the top. And we pour that in. And then what we do is we add the ice cubes. Right. And we're going to give it a little stir. I like mine fairly cooled. And, and, and the thing about this is that sugar doesn't dissolve on contact with the rye, right? It, um, as you stir, it gets nice and cold. But as the ice cubes melt, the drink changes. It changes into something wonderful and new every sip you take so it's a little it's a little, lot sweeter at the bottom of the glass mm, than it is at the top well that's pretty tasty and some folks either use uh, cherry some folks like to crush those maraschino cherries in there or use a, 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 a rind of lemon and orange um, I'm just I'm just an orange kind of guy you express that that, uh, what do you call it, the rind of the orange in there, um, and bon appetit. You know those orange oils over top? Mm. So very, very whiskey forward. I like that spiciness that the, that the rye brings to this, uh, this cocktail. As per usual, we'll attach the, uh, the recipe to the cocktail video. Uh, please let me know if you've made it, how, you, how, how it's turned out for you. You can use this, but you can also put, the, like I said, the two maraschino cherries in it. Even crush them a little bit in the bottom. That'll make it a little bit sweeter, give it a little bit different character. And, of course, uh, if you, in, as you're letting us know in the comments, you may as well just tell, us, tell me what you, you want to see moving forward. Um, and uh, and that's, uh, that's about it for this week. So you all stay safe out there, have fun. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week and possibly something 
Well, before we before we go to those tropical climes, we'll probably touch on something a little bit more uh, Scotch esque in uh, in lieu of uh, Robbie Burns Day coming up. So y'all stay safe, have fun, talk to you later.